paying my bills. That's how I approach my career. And while I'm paying my bills, can I also have fun while I'm doing it? The first time I really got scared about money was when I left Ed. And I didn't take any alimony, I didn't take any child support. We put equal amounts of money into a, a checking account and we used all that for Wolfie. So I started to go through my earnings pretty quickly because at that point I was like in my 40s. And I realized quite rapidly that I, I needed to get a job somehow. But, you know, actors in their 40s, they don't work a lot. At least back then they didn't. So that's when Jenny Craig came about. And I knew I had to lose weight. And I figure, go hard. Go do it in front of everybody. I've lost 40 pounds on Jenny Craig and I've reached my ideal size. Size surfer girl. <laughs> I don't understand where that comes from inside me because I'm a little wimp. I'm a little prude. I don't like to do any of these things, so why do I do that? I don't know, but I feel really accomplished when I do do something that I was afraid of, and I get through it, and I get past it. I did turn 60 during the pandemic. I used to be the youngest person in the room, and now I'm the oldest person in the room, and I like that. As I've gotten to be this age, I really don't care as much what people think of me. I'm not saying at all, because I still really care, and I really am trying to get rid of that. But I also feel like the older you get, the more you can be true and honest and say what you mean and mean what you say. How did I come to love the way I am today? The book was helpful. It was very cathartic. I was able to work through a lot of stuff that I was keeping inside and um, eating. <laughs> the thing about criticism is that when it is external, someone is saying something I've already said to myself in my head anyway, so it hurts that much more because I already believe that. And if somebody else says it, it must be true. Someone, this is Moto, decided to point out that I need to lose weight. You're not being helpful. It's all a learning process. When bad thoughts come into my brain, trying to hear them now, as opposed to trying to shove them away, I try to feel where it is in my body and get out of my head. And eventually it does pass. I'm not always successful at it, but I try.